Good morning, guys. I have my a cup of coffee here because I'm actually filming this morning. And usually I film, it's actually bizarre now that I think about it. Usually I film in the late afternoon, like sort of, or at night. So I feel like this is the first time I've ever, ever filmed in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> Um, I have my cup of coffee. So I actually was just about to get started on work for the day. For that, those of you who don't know, I actually work in advertising and I work from home. Um, so I have clients and I basically just have to fulfill different marketing projects and stuff like that. Before I get to work, I wanted to hop on here and talk a little bit about Sam Asgari because I just keep hearing these little digs. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. Um, so this is the thing that I cooked yesterday that I told you guys about when I said I was going to make something sweet. Um, and hubby really liked it. I don't know. Have you guys ever seen my husband? I'm going to... Okay, this is my husband. Um, as I said in another video, he's Portuguese and we live in Paris. Um, but I actually found the inspiration from my hubby today to talk about Sam Asgari because I think what's happening here like there's loads of distrust of, of Sam Asgari from Britney Spears fans and this is going to be a quick video today because it's really straightforward what I want to say there's loads of distrust from Britney Spears fans around Sam Asgari and people who just are trolls around Sam Asgari and um I know that he is not um, from the U.S. I know that he grew up in the U.S., but I know that he's from Iran. Now, as someone who has a good friend, a good uh, manager in the past that I know personally, who's Iranian, um, and I know little glimpses of the culture. She actually married a German guy. Um... And I also am married to a foreign person. I think I can speak a little bit on the subject of where Americans, and I'm going to try my best not to be um, mean or offensive here, okay? But um, as I've said, even though I live in France, I love the U.S., love my country of birth, really proud of where I come from, all good, all Gucci. Um, but I do think sometimes Americans in comparison to perhaps to other cultures like Europeans or even Middle Eastern peaceful people, even uh, African people, can be less well-traveled. And, and they can be really well-traveled around the U.S., you know, nationally, because the U.S. is so huge. I was literally talking to my husband yesterday, and what were we watching? We were watching, um... Forrest Gump. <laughs> we were watching Forrest Gump. That was our Valentine's Day movie night uh, thing. So really, really cutting edge Valentine's Day date, guys. But we were watching Forrest Gump and I was talking about how Jenny, you know, there's this part where they talk about how her father basically says her. And I was saying, oh my God, I just, sometimes I think about that, you know, the, the, the rampant problem that the U.S. has with childhood and ch uh, child and child, child p you know um and i was like sometimes i really am so ashamed that that's that's my country and he's like babe that happens everywhere and the u.s is so huge that you know the u.s is basically the size of europe so when you think about it you know those cases probably occur with the same sort of pr proportionally it makes sense and i was like yeah you're probably right um, but thinking about that, literally, I mean, really morbid topic to sort of bring us to this point, but thinking about the fact that the U.S. is so big, you know, Americans can afford to not travel to other countries, you know, and still be very well traveled nationally within the U.S. And so what's happening is I think that since Americans generally don't travel as much as people from other countries necessarily um we get into this wind tunnel thing and where we don't recognize 
the attributes of other cultures and you know how other cultures are what what their practices what their characteristics are and so I feel when that happens we sort of just you know and I think we're all capable of a certain level of bias a certain level of just sort of like glossing over stuff you know our brain sort of simplifying stuff so that we can just get over it and I think a lot of times Americans are just like your brain just labels someone foreign you know foreign and that's it you know and and, and I'm not saying that people are being racist or xenophobic but I do think that there could be a bias in the way that people judge Sam Asghari around his culture and I also think that um people are just very very um even people who troll Britney themselves they can still be very um, possessive of her, you know? I mean, America is a possessive country. It's like, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. <laughs> and it's like, guys, calm down, calm down, it's okay. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think there's a certain amount of sort of possessive nature to this. It's like, Britney's mine, and Sam, you can't have her. You know, the other part is I feel like people are judging him because they don't understand his culture, okay? And so I want to let you guys know that Sam Asghari, you know, he moved to the U.S. when he was 12 from Iran. And it's really funny. He talks about literally helping him learn to speak English, you know, watching Hannah Montana. And I'm going to do a video about Miley Cyrus, uh, probably going to drop it tomorrow. Um, but I, I want to talk about that, but that's another subject. But he talks about how he, because he, when he moved, he was 12. So he was basically moving into his teenage years. And why not use a, a Disney show, a, a American token of culture to sort of help boost your English? He was taking English courses at school. Um, I think he has two sisters. He has pretty normal mom and dad. Um, and um, what else? He, he was into sports when he was young. He was always a very kind of like masculine kid. He did the police academy. He was playing basketball and stuff. And then his sister helped him segue into modeling. And um, he's done modeling, he's done acting, and he's always held personal fitness as a really big thing for himself. Um, and Britney Spears, you can just see the chemistry between the two of them. If you don't, I don't know. But, you know, you can see that they really love each other. And she um, says he's really, really funny. Um, clearly, there's love there. Now, I feel like what I need to speak on is someone who's married to a foreign person. The fact that Americans really, they can't wrap their head around a masculine figure that exists outside of American cultural token, like, norm. Like, it's, it's like, it does exist. And looking at Sam Asghari, I'm not going to say that Iranian culture and Portuguese culture are in any way similar. But um, Portuguese people actually are an interesting specimen because um, the early settlers there came from all over. They came from the Middle East. They came from Africa. They came from, you know, the, the Fertile Crest. They came from the Mediterranean. They came from Eastern Europe. They came from um, the United Kingdom, you know, the Anglo-Saxons. And so it's a really interesting mix of European slash African Mediterranean culture. And um, a big thing with Middle Eastern and Mediterranean culture is the men are expected to protect their women. I mean, I think it's really stupid that you know, Americans, they see a man, because, okay, one of the things that Sam Asghari gets flagged for is they think that when he's walking in these parking lots talking to TMZ that he's being fake and that he's paying TMZ off and stuff like that. And I don't see that at all. I see a guy, I see a husband who's trying to protect his wife and I see him, you know, I, I see him working with the tabloids to sort of give people an update, because he is the closest person to her. This is her husband, 
respect their union. This is if you if you really want to know about Britney, know what's going on, on with her, get a a closer look into her life. Um trust and put trust and you know, respect the person that she chose to spend her life with. That's Sam Asgari. It wasn't you. It wasn't, um, you know, the person that you deemed appropriate for Britney. She fell in love with Sam, so you have to respect that. And, um, you know, just seeing my, there was this one instance, you know, just to give you a comparison, this one time where we were walking to my parent-in-law's house, and we were going for dinner, my husband and I, and there was this woman who was walking with her dog, and the dog was a small dog, but the woman was like talking to herself and jerking, and, and I don't know, I don't know what was going on there, but she, the, the dog started barking at me, like really heavily barking at me. I don't know if the woman was like feeding racist <laughs> rants to this dog at home. Maybe she beats the dog, you know, some people are really violent with animals, people who have mental illness themselves. And so, you know, who knows? But either way, this woman was not all right, and this dog was not all right. And the dog just started, like, barking at me and looked like it was about to jump up on me. And so my husband turned around, and this was all in French, you know, as I, like, I'm going to try to remember what he said in English. He, he, like, turned around, and he just, he really didn't say anything. He just turned around, and he went, mm, and the dog went, mm, you know, and I was like, babe, what are you doing? And he was like, uh, his dog was acting like he was going to attack you. I'm like, protecting my wife, you know? And I was just like, you're so cute. You know, you're so cute. Um, that, that yes, you know, like there's a, a certain amount of chivalry, I think, that still exists in Middle Eastern, European, um, you know, African culture that used to exist in the U.S. that used to be a part of American ideals, but it's sort of disappeared recently. But I think um, Americans, since we're so into feminism and like equality, women's rights, you know, which I'm all for that stuff too, but I think since we're so into that now, maybe we've lost sight a little bit of what a good man looks like. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, I would say another thing is Britney Spears talk about, she talks about how Sam Asghari is so funny. And um, I think people look at Sam Asghari and they look at Britney Spears and they just think, how could these two people kind of come together? Like, it baffles me, you know? Like, they're so different. They're so opposite. And as someone, you know, and I'm not trying to make this all about me, I'm just trying to give some insight as someone who's married to someone of a different nationality. Um, well, of a different, a different ethnicity, I'll say, because they're both American, but of a different cultural, uh, of a different origin, we'll say that. Um, opposites attract, guys. It, they really do. And, you know, Britney Spears and K-Fed, we saw how that fell apart terribly. You see how he's giving interviews with, uh, 60 Minutes Australia, um, basically throwing Britney under the bus, and that has never, ever been Sam Asghari's M.O. If you guys take a close look, Sam Asghari has always been there behind Britney. So maybe this is the, like, slanted-eyed phase. <laughs> you know when you get on the train, and somebody just, like, looks at you, and you look at them, and it's just, like, the, uh, the feud of the slanted eyes, you know? So maybe this is the slanted-eyed, like, phase of just... Uh, you know, sizing up Sam to make sure he's worthy of Britney. Guys, you know, so anyway, opposites attract. And, um, you know, for example, Britney talks about how funny he is. Now, my husband, <laughs> English is his uh, third language, actually. Well, he speaks Portuguese, French, English, and Spanish. Um, but the best you know, he has the best grasp, I would say, on obviously Portuguese because that's his, his mother tongue. Um, but then behind that would be English and behind that would be French. So his English is very, very good. And similar to Sam Asghari, he learned a lot of English by looking at TV. Um, and sometimes his cute little Portuguese accent just comes out, you know, or his, you know, for example, in a, in a, 
a language based off of Latin, you know, like French or Portuguese or Italian. Um, there's a, a gender to objects, which that doesn't exist in English. So, for example, um, in French, a car, to say a car, would be une voiture, which is feminine. In Portuguese, it would be un carro, which is masculine, you know? So, there is this, this prevalence often for people who speak a romantic language to, when they're speaking English, to call things her and him if they're talking about an object because their cute little you know Portuguese or French or Spanish brain or whatever just knows it that way and when he does that when my husband does that I just find it so friggin cute the same way when you know he's making fun of me from being from Alabama you know just break it out singing sweet home Alabama or stuff you know there's things that we connect at and you always I, I will say when you marry someone of a different origin you literally always have something to connect over because you know it's just this little adventure that you get to delve down for the rest of your life and you're just like you're so cute you know um my husband sometimes you know like People who speak a romantic language, uh, especially French and Portuguese, sometimes have a hard time saying H, like uh, H words, like health and helping, you know, it's like, I don't know, I don't know if those are the words, but, you know, it's like, in French, um, you would just not pronounce the H, it just would not be there, you know, so, um, sometimes that comes out as really, really cute. And I can just see Brittany and Sam, you know, connecting over these things. And also in terms of um, personality types, you know, Brittany is sort of like the artistic, creative side of the relationship. And you can clearly see that Sam is more conservative than her. Now, I'm not saying that Sam is like a, um, what's a good person to compare him to? Um... He's not like a Liam Hemsworth, we'll say that, for example. Liam Hemsworth is also someone who married an American uh, personality, uh, TV personality, well, we won't say TV personality, an American celebrity, and he is of a different origin, and he's way more conservative than Sam Asghari, at least I would say, you know, like, um, and that didn't work out, that didn't work out, that didn't work out. But, um, as someone who is, um, a creative type person who's married to someone who's more shy, who's more reserved, who's more laid back. Like, that's just his personality. And usually those type of people, when they're alone with people who they're really comfortable with, you know, it, it's, you know, they, they are so open, they're so loving, they're so, um, funny you know so I think people should just lay off of Sam Asgari stop accusing him as being the person who is um Britney's uh what do they call him her her almost like I don't know what the word is it's like a controller or a um, someone basically who's like her watcher you know like her 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 the person who's keeping surveillance on her Stop implying that, you know, like, we, I, I'm a very good judge of character, and I don't see that from Sam at all. I don't. I just see an Iranian-American sweet, hot guy. I mean, you can clearly see the attraction. It's not that hard to look at. Who um, has, has Britney's best interest at heart? If he didn't have her best interest at heart, come on, guys. Like, let's think critically about this. If he didn't have her best interests at heart, I, I, I speak about Meghan Markle and um, Prince Harry and other videos. We saw everything with, with Prince Harry's dad, you know, King Charles play out with Camilla back in the 80s and the 90s. You know, that, that triangle between Prince Charles, well, King Charles, then Prince Charles, uh, Camilla, and Diana. We saw that play out. We know what... And, and a guy who is unfaithful looks like, okay? We saw all that stuff play out with Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. Um, we have seen people who are clearly gold diggers, who are clearly, 
users who go on their, you know, wealthy spouse who they're using for money, go on their yachts, go on holidays, you know, get into gambling debt. We've seen that. And we don't see Sam Asghari doing that. So, guys, thank you. But, um, yeah, your, your, <laughs> your uh, hypothesis is rejected. Thank you for your contribution. But, no, that's not it. So, leave Britney Spears be. Leave her alone. She's not a dungeon uh, clone. <laughs> And Sam is not her handler. That's the word that people have keep saying. Her handler. He's not her handler. He's just not American. <laughs> oh, God. I just feel like I... <laughs> Do people not use common sense anymore? I feel like I shouldn't have to say this stuff, guys. Anyway, I have to go and get to work. Um, I'm going to get... I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you guys with that. And, 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 and... You, you, you let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing my butt off over here. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have not already, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell so you always know when I post videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.